see that little square is green now. What's up, y'all? Sorry that feed dropped. I hope we didn't lose everybody and that everybody decided to join us on this feed. Hope everyone's back. Y'all, I went out and got a new um, router, but I haven't hooked it up yet because life, but I'm going to. I'll do that today, you know, in my spare time. So what you didn't miss is I was talking about the white. Now this is from Just Resin. It's their titanium white. Um, very similar to Snow White from Color Obsession. Um, it works very similarly to Cast and Craft and System 3. So I don't like to do thick lines of white because the way we're thinning it out and pushing the color, it'll take over. So that's kind of my line of thinking with it. And they don't have to be exact at all. I just run the color across. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no wrong way. Yeah. Come on, Lori, you can do this. Of course, I have got those are gonna be little never mind. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go there. It's not ATD after dark yet. I know. <laughs> Unless you need a shot of fireball. No. Well, I don't have to worry about driving. Jerry's driving. No. If I didn't have to go pick up a I rental know. car. Yes, I know. That's true. So, yeah, that's fine then. Hey, Melissa. I'm glad you're home from New Zealand. I had to be an awesome, awesome adventure. Hey, Donna. I guess that's good. Here I am just like having fun. Adding all of the color. Yep. It's all right. It'll look good. So you can use a torch. I'm going to use a torch. Some people use a heat gun. The main idea is you want to tilt it just a little bit, just a little bit, and hit it with your heat so that it's thinning and moving at the same time. So I'm going to try to hit it on this far edge of the white line as it's tilted. You want to keep it moving because if you hesitate, it's going to scorch your resin and then you'll end up with a scab and it's not a good look. It's actually a horrible look if you scorch your resin. Okay, calm down. So that's basically the idea. Of course, it's going to be blown out. You can also use a heat gun. Can I see that heat gun just real quick? You can use a heat gun to thin it and move it out. And then once you have that, hit that thin area with your torch to create your cells. There's a number of different ways to do this. Um, I just think that I have more control with just a torch. So I'm gonna just keep from this bottom side, hitting it with a torch as I tilt it.
And then at some point, you're going to have to tilt back this way so that everything doesn't run off. This is being difficult. So I'm going to let this rest for a minute, and then I'm going to add some more white on this end and over here while I work with Laura on hers. It's a push button too? Yeah, just push the back in. Oh geez, my hands are all slippery. Mm -hmm. Let me move these cups so that we're kind of, you catch that on fire, <laughs> Laura. Not catching oh, the studio on fire. On. Darn it. There you go. Very easy. This is not easy, guys. Mm -mm, just keep <laughs> it moving. Just follow the white line all the way across. Sorry. What's up? What do you want to do? This way, yeah. This way? Tilt, tilt it. There you go. Okay. We got, we got rip curls going on here. That is a thing, so it's fine. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to tilt it back just a little bit. Cool. I'm going to let that fall off just on this edge just slightly so that when I tilt it back, It'll stretch those cells. Looks really good. Well, I'm being taught by the best teacher ever. I don't know <laughs> if I'm the best teacher ever, but I do try to give good information. <laughs> yeah, Jen, I do like fire. <laughs> she tried to catch the alcohol ink on fire, fire earlier. Not really. At least, at least he still has your eyebrows. <laughs> it's true. I drew them on this morning. <laughs> so the idea with the torch is that you want to thin out your top resin, which would be the white, before thinning the resin that's under it. That's why the torch kind of works better because it's going to superheat what's on top first because it's like surface. You can even get other colors to sell. It's a very busy ocean, but still like it. Never really work one area too much for too long before just rotating and working a different area because you really don't want to scorch your resin. It's the worst thing you could do. Just work on an area let it rest and do a different one. I'm going to let this guy live the way he is. And then we're going to work on yours. But actually, I kind of like yours better than where mine is, even at this second. I know these colors are horrible, but I will do a true color video for you guys. And at the end of this video, I will show you what um, yesterday's geos look like.
Are you going to work that one some more, or do you like how it looks, or? Um, put a little more white in there. Yeah. And like waves. It's nature. There's nothing like 100% perfect about it. I get it. I get it. I get it. People at home, be careful not to breathe in this stuff not the best for your lungs or health. Yes. Looks awesome. You happy about about it? Yeah. Anything you want to work on? No, I think this is fine. It's an ocean. <laughs> it is. I'm just trying to use up some resin. It gets better the more you fiddle with it. Yeah. That never happens to me. Okay. Also, that's oh. what she said. <laughs> Using leftover resin is one of my favorite things to do now. It looks awesome. Yeah, you guys show the people at home. <laughs> I'm so blown out. But that is okay. We'll do a true color video. Erica, your makeup is perfect. Thank you. Agreed. <laughs> but she also looks good without makeup. <laughs> she. She doesn't have to lie. Not lies. All right. So, there's a little bit of a couple colors left. Look, found some coasters oh boy. we were looking for earlier. Will we stay at the left? Okay. A little bit of this color left if you want it. Super sparkly blue. Might need some of that. Trying to get some more left. Yep. Not a lot. That's fine. This is just to use up. Yep. Everything. Waste not. Waste not, why not? We don't waste around here. I'm just gonna pick up some of this blue. Want some of this dark blue? Nope. Pick some up off the table. It worked out just fine. Need some white, some white, some white. Silt and torch. And try not to set anybody's place on fire. That is also a very good tip for anybody at home. 
No setting people's houses on fire. <laughs> that work. You want to be careful also about the heat because you don't want it to get so thin that it just runs all the way off your poster or canvas. Being difficult. You got raw spots on your. I saw that. Darn it, Jim. Um, it still looks just fine. I love the look of the stretch cells. Yeah, it looks so sharp. Hey guys, sorry I haven't been paying attention to y'all. It's been resonating. There you go. Oh, it looks great. So, I'm going to take these gloves off and show you guys how the geo came yesterday ended up. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to change the color a little bit. So, oops, now I can't see you guys. This is how it turned out. You can see kind of the texture from that glitter glass we added in there. A little extra sparkle. Now I need to take this off the back of it. All of my clear anything comes with this film on both sides. So the coasters, the stir sticks, will be the geodes, the clocks, clear canvases. So you just peel one side off, pour on it, and then leave the second side to peel off after it sets up, and then you don't have to clean the back of it off. Easy peasy. In theory. Thanks, Jen. I'm fond of it, and I can't wait to see what it looks like after this orange looking base isn't on it. So while we are leaving town, Um, tonight or in the morning, depends. Um, 
Amanda will still be here putting orders out. We will still be answering emails. Still answering questions on YouTube. We still will be accessible. So just because we're not here doesn't mean you can't get your paint or your questions answered. So don't let our being on the road deter you from reaching out to us. Also, I will still be posting a video or going live every day while we are gone. Y'all ready? I'm scared. It even looks fun this side. Okay, ready? It doesn't look much different, but I dig it. I'm definitely not going to focus. I'll do a true color. Anyways, the things you can do with the, um, what's it called? Iridescent are awesome. Did my phone die? No. Could have added more glitter. But live and learn. I'll move that for next time I do one of these guys. I think this is kind of one of the shapes that Jeff's gonna be cutting today. I'm pumped about it. I think it's pretty. It's real pretty. And it's reversible. That one looks pretty G.O.D. too. Did y'all know this is the first one we did and it's going to be probably roughly the size of the large geode that we put on the website for sale. Hopefully, y'all will get all these cut today and I can go ahead and post all of them before we head out of town. Hopefully. Never know. All right, you guys, I got to pack and do all of the things. So this is where I bid you all adieu, sayonara, and all of those things. Hey, do you know if that package went out today? Uh, I think so. I have no idea. I'll text you um, a tracking number, Karen. That's what she said, JJ. <laughs> hey, baby cakes. Anyways, I hope you guys try the ocean pour thing, and I hope you have fun doing it. If you have any questions, reach out to me. If I don't answer right away, just know that life and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so, yeah, check out my Snapchat to see behind the, the scenes of our adventure. I don't have Snapchat on this one. Womp. <laughs> I'll have to add it. Anyways, hope you all have an awesome day. And be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. We'll see you guys um, next time. Tomorrow will be pre-recorded video. But after that, we'll go live while we're down there. Anyways, till next time. Bye. I said bye. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.